Hi, what a science, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out what's your next big surprise. And please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. What's your next big surprise? Nine of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. For those of you, if you haven't been speaking with an Aries here in a while, Emperor or a Piscean, uh, could be Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, because also we've got the Page of Cups here. You may hear from this person, okay? Uh, some of you, the em Emperor can indicate a father figure or a father, a grandfather, or somebody that is that has some sort of authority. Could be a boss as well. Um... And I feel like you're going to be surprised because you haven't heard from this person in a while. Two swords. And the hangman is right here. And it's in reverse. So it feels like um, suddenly there's like a, a wake-up call. Um, maybe this person has a wake-up call. And that uh, they reach out to you and then speak with you. Um, and for some of you water signs, your next big surprise will be, you know, somebody who may have abuse their power over you, over this connection, and um, you may be surprised that you actually end up having the courage to block this person, or well, this person might just block you because, you know, the emperor here is in reverse, either they're too stubborn or maybe they have an ego, um, but I feel like water signs, you're going to be okay anyway if this person wants to block you because this person is not really worth it with the emperor here in reverse it's really hard to change this person's mind change this person's character or, or change the way they treat you okay ace of cups here is in reverse even even though the ace of cups here is in reverse you're still in an upright so i feel like you're gonna be okay um and the world here is in reverse i feel like it is not your fault um I feel like it is not your fault. Is this person stuck in the past or stuck in a rut or stuck in some sort of a cycle that has possibly either maybe some maybe it has nothing to do with you? I feel it could be their own past because they could be older or that they have they, they could be really jaded as well. This person, so you might be surprised when they block you, but. I feel like deep down you know that it was going to happen or that it should have happened anyway. I see you feeling okay about it, okay? That's what I'm getting here. Unless roles are being robbed first here, you are going to be surprised that you have the courage to block this person and to reject this person with Ace of Cups here in my verse. And you're going to leave this person kind of hanging Feels like maybe this person never thought that you would do it, but you you did it, okay? Ace of Cups, the High Priestess, and then we've got the Wheel of Fortune here in my first. Yeah, I feel like this person is going to surprise you again by possibly unblocking you if they are the other ones blocking you. So they might surprise you by by unblocking you and then reach out to you with a page of cups here. And they may tell you secrets with the high priestess, how they truly feel about you. And will of fortune in reverse why they did what they did. They may tell you about their past, a certain cycle they've been going through in a while. Okay. Then again, water signs, I really like that you are in an upright position, right? With the Queen of Cups here. It doesn't matter here, she not gender specific, but 
I definitely see you sitting in your power. I see you not letting anybody take advantage of you, treat you unfairly. I see you blocking people. And all these people who get blocked, they are surprised that you... Well, that they will be surprised that you have the courage again, not that you do something like that. <laughs> um, again, unless they blocked you. But I don't see it. I see it affecting you just a little bit. I don't see it affecting you in a major kind of way. Because for some reason, you kind of either see that coming or that, you know, oh, there is still um, this energy of uh, it's a blessing in disguise or I'm glad it happened because this person again may have taken you for granted or did something did something or said something that I feel maybe you just have had enough of it right so you hear from a friend page of cups here or it can be anybody you may hear from a friend with a sec uh, high priestess here telling you they are secrets. That's what I'm getting here. And you may be surprised because the Wheel of Fortune here is in reverse. Uh, you, you'll be surprised because it feels like it may catch you off guard. Whatever secrets this person is going to be telling you. It will catch you off guard and you'll be like kind of stuck and you may be speechless as well when this person says something to you, tells you something. I feel like they could be telling you their own secrets or they, they could be telling you secrets that they know about someone or some people, okay? Let's see more. And for some of you, if you met someone online with the Wheel of Fortune here in my verse, Maybe suddenly this person pops up after being silent for a while as well. That could be for some of you like a surprise, a big surprise, well, a small surprise. But nine of wands here in reverse, seven of cups in reverse, and we've got the two of wands here in reverse. Some of you, it's you feeling surprised because someone decided to choose you for something here, okay? It may be choosing you out of other options. It may be related to work, maybe related to love. Or life in general, okay? Let's pull up more cards. What a science. Got the three of wands, the tower in reverse. Ooh, ten of pentacles. So what we this ten of pentacles, to me it's uh, inheritance, money, family, home. Some of you might be surprised to find a home um, that you've been searching for, longing for with the three of wands. For those of you, if you've been house hunting for a while and you can't find the right home for you, you might be surprised to actually see a home that you're going to fall in love with with the Queen of Cups here. For some of you, three of wands can indicate entrepreneurship. Uh, what a science. If you've started a new business, if you've been waiting for to see some money coming in from your business, you may you may be surprised that you're actually going to be making a lot of money with the Ten of Pentacles. Well, the money could be coming from a source that I think you wouldn't expect, okay? That's what I'm getting here. Ace of uh, Wands, sorry, Ace of Swords here is in love first. Yeah, you may not see this coming at all. I feel like this money is coming from like a source that you wouldn't, wouldn't, you wouldn't expect at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. for some of you there's one energy here this person may be longing for you you may think that with the tower here in reverse that you know things are never ever gonna change or that this person will never ever gonna change that maybe it is too late and everything is ruined but I feel like you'd be surprised that it's not really ruined <laughs> it's not really ruined yet I don't know why I'm getting this very specific message for some of you water signs if you're in Florida Tampa somewhere because my friend is in Tampa and recently there has been some sort of a hurricane I don't know how bad how bad it is or if anything even happened there 
but I'm just giving an example, like for those of you living in like those places where um, there's a hurricane and you might be surprised that, you know, either it didn't happen or if it did happen, um, if the house is ruined, that you might find certain things that are still intact and not really completely ruined, okay? This is very specific and it's just for some of you. What are signs, Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio? This is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape or form. If you did, please hit like, share and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics, different questions. But these readings are still new, so they're still relevant. Check it out if you want to. And I hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.